James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today's October 9th, 2022, 6.30 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. What you're looking at is that first impact I talked about around 20 UTC time. And it looks like it turned out to be quite substantial with spikes that exceed 1,200 hertz. Since then, we've seen a lot of other spiking or energy in our electromagnetic shields. This is not our Schumann residence. But anytime that does occur, we're worried about these little hits. What happens? Well, we all know what happens. The Schumann residence spikes off the charts past 100 and five hertz. The geophones look like they get uh, get hit by a shotgun, and we've had several spikes since the exact moment we called it here at World News Report today. Everyone's going to be feeling this one. It continues to intensify. It was very strong last night as well here centrally in the USA. God bless each and every one of you guys. Uh, I don't know what's causing it. If I did, I would let you know. Definitely. The last spike on the ultra low frequency and the extremely low frequency, well, they proved the point. Geophones got hit, and remember the 2SR frequency goes down when it's hit. So they all got just polished just now. And the answer to all your questions is instantaneous luminosity. Look at the tab on that thing. I didn't even think the unit could go that high power-wise. And it is doing an experiment like never before. Very, very scary going on here. This has been on and off. We saw them ramping it up. We saw the fill. And now they're going to make the collision happen. Whatever that collision produces, I'm sure that we will regret the results of all their experiments. I do not know if this has anything to do with the Schumann residence, but I would assume that it did. God bless you and yours. Please share, subscribe. Always remember that anything is possible in the bizarre world.